1967, President Raymond Swords had an idea. Father Swords dreamed of bringing together the most loyal and passionate leaders among the college's alumni population and forming a council that would advise and support all Holy Cross presidents going forward. The call went out from Mount St. James and the response was immediate and enthusiastic. Legendary crusaders such as Moran, Williams, Hanafi, Burns, and 190 others signed on to Father Sword's newly created President's Council and quickly changed the fortunes and the history of our college. The first gathering took place on September 27, 1968. Participants arrived from 21 states and three countries to congregate in the Hogan Campus Center for an inaugural gala that was elegant, festive, and successful. And while a fine time was had by everyone present, the purpose of the event was duly noted by all. The members of the first President's Council had gathered together to guide their beloved college into the future, to support the Holy Cross mission, and to help Alma Mater achieve its full potential. Over the ensuing 47 years, fashions have changed, but the mission of the President's Council and the passion, loyalty, and dedication of its members has remained a constant. Today, there are 1,981 members of the Council representing 43 states and 10 countries. This group has been successful beyond even Father Sword's most hopeful dreams. You have guided and supported this institution and all its presidents for almost a half century now. And there is no doubt that the prestige and influence enjoyed today by Holy Cross in the crucial field of undergraduate education is due in large part to your generous and consistent support. That support and guidance, that passion and loyalty, will be the driving force behind the most ambitious fundraising effort in our history. On the shoulders of the President's Council, Holy Cross will become more. Thank you all for continuing a most important tradition. May we continue to gather in a spirit of camaraderie, celebration, and shared values and goals for decades to come.